Hey there, my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. It's time to do another DIY envelope. Hit that subscribe button, join the family. I'd love to be your weekly inspiration. But let's go ahead and get another envelope done for my cash envelope system. beautiful thrivers how you guys doing i hope you guys have been doing good before we get this video fully going let's go ahead and grab today's prompt card if you're new to my videos this is a prompt card it's basically a conversation starter between you and me i'll ask and answer this question in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below but it's just a little something to help me get to know you better and you guys to get to know me better so today's prompt card is, how shy are you? What do you think that is? Why do you think that is? What do you think that is? Why do you think that is? Um, I am not necessarily shy. I would say that I'm just quiet, especially around people I don't know. But give me like 10 minutes, 20 minutes tops around you and i I'm no, I'm just, you know, probably the energy in the room, but what about you guys? Are you shy? And why do you think that is? All right. So as you saw, we're going to be doing our savings, finally getting this done. I'm going to take this money out because I don't want it just sitting in here. But if you're new to these types of videos, this is just one little series that I have on my channel. The rest of it is about my budgeting journey, so feel free to check that out. But I like to decorate up my envelopes, keep me a little bit motivated. So what I like to do is I'll take these stickers off. This is what I originally used just so that I knew which envelope was what. But we're going to take these off and we're going to decorate it up. So what I'm going to replace this with is this image. So... This is not your typical, you know, putting a sticker on your envelope type of deal. What I like to do is I find an image or I create an image or I find and edit an image to my preference and liking. I size it down, add my favorite font next to it saying what I want it to say, and then I print it out to the size and correct dimensions of my envelope that I'm working with. And then I take this image, I stick it inside here, on top of the cardstock I already have inside, and then I tape it down so that it doesn't move and then I use sharpie markers and basically trace it that's about it once I'm done and I've got it the way that I want it to look I'll take it outside I'll spray it with some Krylon acrylic sealant spray and it's done we're done and that's that of course you can always just leave the image inside here and change it out I mean that makes a lot more sense than what I'm doing but I've already kind of been doing this for a while about a year and uh, you know I'm kind of stuck with it and I actually like doing it it's something that allows me to basically expend some of my creativity and I'm not gonna hate on that so I will be doing that in this video I won't waste more of your time so this video is probably gonna be pretty short because as you can see this is not a very detailed or intricate design but I'm gonna be a attempting to use these colors on this and trying to make it my own and we'll see what it looks like at the end so I hope you guys enjoy this video enjoy the music and enjoy the time lapse and then we'll come back together check it out at a closer view and then put it back in my binder and see what it looks like
and there she is oh she's so pretty i like it it's not too detailed but it shows savings in a jar so what i will do is put this into my savings binder and we'll just check it out and see what it looks like with the other ones that are in there and then i will take this out and go and spray it with my acrylic sealant spray that way it is sealed up and it doesn't transfer um it is very very much spring like outside here so there's pollen everywhere just ugh, yellow pollen so i will spray it but i'm going to bring it right back inside and let it dry inside because otherwise there's going to be pollen all over it so let's see what it looks like in my savings binder here notice same font very cool and she belongs right at the top so she looks good she matches she does the job let's put the money back in very good so we have our savings this was already sealed up anniversary we will need to take these off and put our own font on here and then tk toys so yep now we are pretty much complete with this binder other than just the letters which i'll do at the very end of the series so you may be wondering where does that leave us and since i know that this video is already going to be pretty short let's just do a stroll through all of my binders and what we've done so far revolving groceries dining out my pets extra toiletries peach pass miscellaneous back to the bank roll over and then I will be putting this one what the heck what happened there oh no well I'll put this one is gonna go into my reserve so when we get to that binder I'll stick it in there short term we have self-care home, gifts, clothing, family fun, Amazon, date night, gaming. So obviously date night has stickers left so I'll have to definitely take those off. Put my own letters but I think that's the only one that's going to need some changes. So that's it for this binder. Long term. Vacation, where I have to take these off and do our own letters. Road trip, school supplies, electronics, home renovations, and then this I'm not going to do because it's a temporary envelope. Holidays, we have holidays. Hubby, of course, with the stickers. Wifey with the stickers. Christmas. And that's it. Business. We have taxes. Budget supplies. YouTube giveaway. Support small businesses. Bills. Festivals. And wood fund. Kids. Now these have some work that needs to be done. All of them still have their stickers, but these were my kids' drawings that I used and transferred onto their envelopes. So this is my son's drawing, my daughter's drawing, other daughter's drawing, son, daughter, and daughter. Pretty much the same deal with kids savings. Other than grad party, the rest are their drawings. So my son, my daughter and her bird, and my other daughter, son, daughter, and daughter. 
and reserves. We have car maintenance, health savings, home emergency, bills advancement, vet bill, and emergency fund. And then I will be adding this into it. I'll just put it in the back here. This is my new cost of living slash inflation envelope. Not sure how I'm going to decorate it up and I'm probably going to have to use the back of it since whatever this is got on it. But I will um, be using that for inflation just to build a buffer for groceries and gas because it is ever increasing. But now it's in my reserves binder. So that'll do it. Back to my savings. And this I will take outside and go ahead and seal up so it's ready to go. And that leaves pretty much the cost of living envelope that we're going to do. And then just making words, you know, in, in all of the envelopes that have stickers, which I might do as one big bulk video because it's just doing words, not images. And then after that, like all of my envelopes are done. I do have one other envelope I do want to make. Um, it is going to be something completely different. I have health savings, um, stuff like that, but I want to make a mental health envelope. Mainly because I'm going to be getting my, my teenagers into some counseling and therapy through our church, and it's not free, and so... I need to be able to pay for that and so I do want to start building an envelope for mental health just to keep um, that expense paid. Um, I might put it in, I'm not sure if I should put it in reserves because it will be constantly revolving so I might have it in short term but we'll see. But other than that, um, the rest of the envelopes, besides those two that I want to make, are just words. So the series is pretty much coming to an end, probably by the end of April. Um, and after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. All my envelopes are going to be done. <laughs> I may like just start over and do some different types of envelopes that don't have this, but that might be eventually. I do want to enjoy having all my envelopes done finally and not having to redo anything. But I watch a bunch of, of you guys' budget videos and I like y'all's envelopes with the Cricut stickers and stuff and it looks so nice and neat and clean. So I'm just kind of getting different ideas of what I might want to change to eventually. Who knows? Probably by the end of this year, I might be tired of these types of envelopes and do something completely different. So we'll just see. We'll see where life takes us. This is a budgeting journey and I'm open to change. Even though I spent a lot of time on these, I still am very open to trying different things just to keep things fresh and new and interesting. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to take this outside and seal it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, which is cash condensing. So I will be condensing a lot of these envelopes, making them a little less bulky so that we are ready for the new month of April. Anyway, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Cash condensing. Love it. As always, until next time. Bye.